Hey guys, my name is David, and I'm going to show you my very first IBM System I uh, program that I was able to create um, using the free pub400.com uh, mainframe that you can get access to for free. Um, I'm going to go through how I wrote the program, and then I'm going to show you what it does. Basically, all it is is a Hello World application. Okay, so I did follow a guide that I found on YouTube that someone linked to me. Um, by Manuel Ortiz. I'll link it down in the description. Um, he kind of explained the entire, you know, detailed way to get this going and how to create this. Um, I'm just going to show you the code, the source code, and then show you the compiled program running. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my programming menu and programming development manager, which is two. And for, so first thing that I did was I went to work with members, which is three. And you, this kind of is a little bit, this is going to be different for everybody. Um, what your library, when you create a, uh, an account on pub 400, they're going to give you a certain library to use. Um, they'll give you three different ones. The one that has the, the number one at the end of it is the one that I used here and it seemed to work. Okay. For me. Um, so you can hit enter here. And it'll show you the things that are members, um, the things that are members in your library. So I'm going to do option two, and this will show you the code. Um, basically, a member is something that is you create um, before it's compiled, and once it's compiled, it becomes an object in a library that you can run. Um, so basically, this is my very first program that I ever created, and there's a extra I there for some reason. I'm going to delete that anyway, but you can see that this is the source code. Uh, these are comments. You can comment with the double whack, uh, the double thing facing forward, the forward slash. Um, it's just displays this text here in single quotes. Um, this is a lot like I'm used to PHP programming. Um, this display command is obviously new, but the whole single quote thing, no parsing to be done within single quotes. And then the uh, semicolon at the end is a lot like PHP. Uh, and then this right here obviously indicates the end of the program. And that's it. So I'm just going to exit without saving my changes and uh, run the program for you. To actually compile your program, um, you're going to go to the programming menu, which is five and then two. Um, you're going to actually go to your members again and uh, list all your members in your library. There's an option here called 14 to compile. You just do 14 to compile your member. Mine's gonna tell me that I've already compiled an object. Um, and if I want to delete the existing object, which I'm going to do, I'm just gonna recompile it into the same thing again. And it'll go ahead and compile it there for you. Then you can exit with F3, go back. Now you're on um, the programming menu. You just go to objects, which is two and it'll list all your objects in your library all the ones that are not the hello w those are ones that were there automatically those are all it's a, it, they're just source files um, but what i'm going to do is actually run this so this is just to verify that you see it in your library you're not going to do anything from this menu um, if you see it here it's been successfully compiled and created as a object so i'm going to go back to the programmer menu five and then two, and then I'm gonna run the, I'm gonna run the thing. So I'm gonna use this command call, and then my library name, DC Lister, oh God. One forward slash hello W. Sorry, my phone went off there. Um, we're going to call that and watch it run. And you can see I ran this a few times before. Uh, I'm not sure why, every time I run this, it, um, like if I do the same thing again, it'll add another line. So I can just do call DC lister one forward slash hello W. And you see it adds, it adds an extra line to it every time you run it, which is, it's a little bit weird to me. I'm still getting used to the whole mainframe uh, environment, if you know what I'm saying. But this is just like an example of what I got to work. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, I got an internship this summer where I'm going to be doing a lot of this. So I'm basically just trying to learn the whole thing of how it works and all that to get ready for that. But anyway, uh, like and subscribe if you want similar content to this, I guess. <laughs> uh, this isn't what I normally do. 
Um, this is just a little thing to show that I was able to create a Hello World application from not knowing almost anything at all about mainframe. Um, so anyway, uh, if you would like more information, ask me a question down in the comments, and I'll be I'll be as helpful as I can. And um, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and uh, have a wonderful day.